Hey! Curl, you're not allowed here! It's okay, officer. She's with me. <clears throat> As you say. Why are we here, doctor? Isn't it obvious, Bianca? We have a patient to treat. Doctor, we are ready to execute your plan. Great! Let's cure our patient. Let's go, Bianca! I need your help, too! Fine. Doctor, why haven't the police just taken it out? Brutal, but excellent question, Bianca. Killing a mutated body the size of a 10-story building will be impractical to remove. You ready, Bianca? I am. But an operation on such a large specimen will take weeks for just us. Don't worry about that. Let me show you. Everyone ready? Let's operate. Hey, you all right, buddy? Looks like he's waking up. Good morning, sleepyhead. You got close to destroying the entire district. Whoa. What? You will need to sign these forms. The total damage caused luckily doesn't exceed 100,000. I don't understand. What happened? Once the host has been cut off in the mutation, the mutation begins to dissolve into a sticky goo that can easily be washed away. Whew, that was a tough one. Doctor, why did they call you? You're a local practitioner. I owed someone a favor from my old job. Your old job? Never mind that. Let's go get some drinks. What was your old job, Doctor? My treat! I made a lot of money on this. Don't ignore me, doctor. The experimental pill was consumed by a subject in the East District. The damages caused to the city were manageable. How was the mutation stopped so fast? I'm curious. A specialist doctor was called in. A Dr. Albright, it seems. Look into him, would you? Of course. Would you like to proceed with the next experiment, Mr. Yellow? Naturally. <laughs> Bianca, something is happening. What is it, Zara? This morning, my eyes were a bit itchy, and then everything started looking really sparkly. Wow. Everything looks and feels like that 90s show I loved as a kid. We could be anything we want, Bianca. No. Like magical girls fighting evil and injustice. Hey, what's going on, ladies? Michaelis, you look so cool. Bianca, you should go on a date with him. Uh, Bianca, why did you do that? She has an eye parasite. It feeds off the nostalgia in the host's brain. The nostalgia brain parasite infects people through the eyes and causes people to see things through a nostalgic filter while it feeds off the brain fluids. Good morning, sir. Your entire life, up until this point, has been part of an advanced simulation. Due to the amount of pollution, waste, and power that a single human life requires, 99.9% .9 of the human population have been placed in experience machines such as the ones you're waking up from now. You have the diamond package, as per the contract. We make you wake up every 20 years to make sure you are enjoying your current life. If you're happy with your life, press the button and you will go back to the simulation. However, because you have the diamond package, you may also choose to exit and live in the outside world. Please, make your choice. This game sucks. Bianca. Yes, Mom? This is Dr. Peter Barnes. Hello, Bianca. Oh, that's the board chairman. I'll be right back. 
So, Bianca, did your mother tell you who I am? No. I'm your dad, Bianca. My... dad? You're... my dad? Your mom is a very smart woman. She wanted someone with her IQ and good genes to help her get a perfect child. I don't understand. <clears throat> The chairman wants to talk to you too, Peter. <laughs> How fun. Goodbye, Bianca. Mom? What is it? Is Dr. Peter really my dad? Yes. Will I get to see him again? Why would you want to see him? Don't bother strangers, Bianca. Okay. Sorry, Mom. This injection will turn off your brain temporarily. We'll see if this works. So, Bianca, what do you do on your weekend? Why? I was kind of curious. Do you visit your parents? I don't have any parents. Ah, it worked. I slept so well. It's only been 60 seconds. Take all of my cash. Thank you for helping me. I feel so energetic now. Sleep deprivation is a common problem in Capital City, with many people working upwards of 16 hours a day. There exist drugs to help you sleep, but generally, it's advised you try to get a natural sleep. Psst, girl. Over here. Almost there. Hi. I have a niche. Could you scratch me? Hey! Don't walk away! Scratch me! I have money! Come back! Humans aren't the only mutations in Capital City. There are strange environmental mutations, too. It's best to just ignore them. Bianca, did you hear about that new energy drink? Now. They say it tastes like sweet fruits and gives you crazy determination. Okay. Let's go try it after class. Mm. One for me, my friend, please. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Huh? What's wrong, Bianca? Sarah threw up today. <laughs> This isn't possible! A bookworm? Yes! That's right, Bianca! A bookworm! Quite a terrifying creature! You must help me! I can't go back to the library with that thing in there! Why are you touching me? Don't worry, we'll take care of this! How do we deal with such a large worm, Doctor? Do we kill it? We can't use brute force on this one, Bianca. A bookworm at this size requires a different solution. Follow me. Okay. What are these tablets for, Doctor? When I say, throw them into its mouth. Now! Stop moving. It's paralyzed attempting to read the entire internet. Now we can call a removal team. Bookworms have thousands of internal eyes they use to consume information for sustenance. They live off of serotonin chemicals in the brains of humans they consume. Giving them too much to read can paralyze them. so young. What do you do, young one? I practice medicine. Medicine, eh? Perhaps you can treat my illness. 
You see, I'm stuck in a cage. A cage of flesh and bones. My cage will slowly deteriorate. Until it kills me. Do you have any medicine for that, young one? Not yet. Oh, well, maybe someday, I suppose. We've arrived, miss. It's your doctor. The coroner's... It's coming out of the coroner's... Don't worry, I brought your medicine. It'll be okay. No! Cover it! It's okay. We just need a small sample of it. Why did those leaks only come from the corners? Hmm. Not sure. It's interesting though, huh? Although rare, there have been reports of a strange black liquid flowing from the corners of the apartment. Needs further study. Here's your coffee, miss. You're not from around here, are you? Just visiting. I think you should head home. Some weird things have been happening lately. Doctor, I found new patients. Good job, Bianca. It'll be interesting to see what happened here. What were you doing all the way out here anyways? Visiting someone. Oh, a friend? No. Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> 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 I'm so relieved I was able to get in on the Eternal Gaming Cafe. What? Eternal? You haven't heard about it? It's so great! They take care of your every need while you basically live your life inside a video game. What? That sounds amazing! Yeah, dude. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have so much time to do crafting now. Doctor, I'm going to check out the new gaming cafe. Oh yeah? Let me know if it's good. Welcome, young lady, to the Internal Gaming Cafe! Hello. Let me introduce to you how we do things here! Follow me, miss. This floor is for first-timers who are trying out the one-month trial. Each room is equipped with a VR helmet, a gaming PC, and a comfortable chair. How do you keep people fed? Hmm? You wanna see? We just press this button! The player is informed that he has to take his daily dose of vitamins, proteins, and fibers. Alert! Feeding commencing. Open mouth. And the system feeds him! It usually happens automatically! The human body wouldn't last with just this setup. That's true! Our setup for a long time customer is different. Wanna see? Sure. Great! Then. Follow me to the next floor. Out of my way! Just one of our customers. Come along now. Here we are, Miss... Amber Crombie. 
Abercrombie. A beautiful name. Oh, don't worry. Each VR helmet is equipped with a spray that simulates pleasant smells and tastes. Stagnant air causes respiratory issues. We do filter the air too. Now, come along. Here's one of our newer customers. Look at the comfort and convenience. Our state-of-the-art full VR headset gives him complete control through a simple brain implant that reroutes his nerve impulses. What's his diet like? Diet? No worries about that. This man has the nutrition package. We give him a formula at regular intervals that fulfills every dietary need. A vegetarian too. It enters his stomach through this tube here. Extra convenient. I see. In the past, to get this type of freedom, you would have to pay thousands of dollars a month. Our system makes it very affordable. Our cheapest package is just $1.99. This man has bed sores. There are beds available in the other room. It's his choice to use them. What about hygiene? We have public restrooms, but for a higher fee, we do have other options. This isn't safe. Nothing indulgent is fully safe, but we encourage you to play in moderation. How? All booths have this sticker. That was my idea, actually. What about muscle atrophy? Their muscles will waste away if you don't use them. We have an option of electrode simulation. What? For an extra fee, players can have their muscles stimulated electrically. It's like a workout without the effort. Everything is taken care of. You can read about it in our FAQ folder. Isn't that to your liking? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> What is this? Ah, it appears he decided against some of our options. Now, now. If those mouth infections are allowed to remain, he'll die of sepsis. How can he not feel this? Ah, uh, well, he likely took our painkiller option. For a 50 cent monthly fee, we provide regular painkillers through his feeding tube. You can't legally prescribe painkillers. On the contrary, the Eternal Gaming Act makes it perfectly legal. We've seen to it. So, what do you think? Do you want to give it a go, miss? You can play video games for as long as you want! No other distractions will exist. Only the colorful world of your favorite game. That man won't survive. Frequent use of painkillers will cause liver damage. His weak heart could cause cardiac arrest. And the rot in his mouth will spread. If you're worried about it, you can get your teeth removed before coming. It's not like you'll need them anyway. What about body hygiene routine? Medical care? Listen, miss. We don't force them to stay here. They are free to leave and visit a doctor at their leisure. We provide showers. People are free to get up and use them if they want. Don't you see? We don't restrict them in any way. We simply give them the freedom to play games forever. If they stay in their comfortable seats, then that's their choice. We exist because people choose us! You mentioned a premium service. Absolutely! Let me show you. Wonderful, isn't it? Perfect immersion, no bed sores, no hygiene issues. Simply... 
unadulterated experience. Ah, well, it does take a bit to get used to looking at. But the clients are quite happy. This place, it's... Hmm? Mentally healthy people don't choose to come to a place like this. All a matter of perspective. If someone has a bad life, why not let them live a better one here? This isn't a better life. Bed sores, tooth infections, muscle atrophy. All the people who can't afford your premium service. They're not living, they're rotting. Miss Abercrombie, which is better? Decades of despair or a few years of bliss? Some minimum wage workers save for years to live the rest of their lives here. I'll go to the press. Oh good, more publicity is always welcome. After all, we're still expanding. You're a monster. How about it? Would you like to get started on our trial period? I can recommend a good cheap dentist to pull out your teeth. You look well off. Maybe we can set you up with a premium service. Just imagine it. No more working, no more cooking, no more cleaning, no more worries. Just enjoy yourself for the rest of your life. We'll let you play whatever games you want forever. There are no limits. You can't do this. Let go. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Please, donk. I'm sorry, sir. Your car was declined, unless you have another payment method. What? What? Sir, if you won't vacate the premises willingly, we'll have to remove you. Please, the donk. No, no, you can't do this. I was only there six months. That's impossible! Put me back! Put me back! Please! Please! Help me! Don't go to take me away! Please! Put me back! What will happen to him? Sometimes a credit card gets declined. It will happen from time to time. I said what will happen to him. Hey, hey, relax now. We'll just put him outside the building. You'll be fine. Come back when you want to set up your subscription. You'll be back. Yes. Here you are, sir. You can call a cab or a family member. I... I don't have any family. I can't go for a cab! Please, don't kill me! <laughs> <laughs> Coward, please help me. God damn, he's in bad shape. Look at this jaundice. I bet his liver is in worse shit. Jesus, what have they been putting in that algae slurry they feed him? Inconsiderate assholes. <laughs> ah, Bianca! How was the gaming cafe? Stop talking to me. Oh, okay. Doctor, I'm headed home for the day. That's okay. See you on Monday. We can't help everyone. Hey, wake up. Huh? Uh, hey there. Sorry. Why are you just standing here? I guess... I'm on a lot of painkillers lately. I have a toothache. <laughs> Do you want to run a dungeon with me? Then you can make a dentist appointment after. Sure. That sounds good. This is what I love about this game. There are so many nice people like you. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Your card was declined. Bianca's been in a bad mood recently.
Bianca fact time! How can you tell Bianca is upset? Let's take a look here. Her eyebrows become slightly more furrowed than usual. Bianca! What is it? We're going to an arcade! All you have to do is shoot the other players to win. Okay. Game start! <laughs> this is your first time? I'll go easy on you, girly! Yeah! And we have a winner! Nice job, Bianca! You did it! Didn't that make you feel better? You've been so grumpy lately. <laughs> I'm getting an energy drink. It'll be right there. And then, I told her to come back when she wants to set up her subscription. How splendid. I hear your business is going well. Huh? Oh, Mr. Yellow! Will you be ready to expand soon? Absolutely! And thank you for your initial investment. We'll set you up with funds for three more openings. Thank you! Very appreciated! So, have there been any protesters? Not really. Well, there was one girl who stopped by. Oh? Tell me more about that. This is extraordinary. It's alive. Isn't it amazing, Doctor? Doctor? What are you doing? I'm done. Done? You went along with this experiment as much as we did. With this new technology, it can finally be done. We can create a better world. Do it without me. What's your problem? This was your idea too. I had a change of heart. Doctor? Hmm? What is it, Bianca? I'm going to get more printing paper. Do you need anything? No. No, I'm good. The Yellow Corporation has protected Capital City for decades. When the mutation started, we were there, providing free medicine to cure the afflicted. When the United States economy tanked, we were there, to invest in businesses all over the country. This is all thanks to our ingenious founder, Mr. Yellow, who has dedicated his life to medical science. The Yellow Corporation, we're family. Family? <laughs> oh, we care about skidding our money. You're right. This world runs on money. Uh, are, are you sure, son? This is a lot of cash. I think you need medical attention, old man. I see some symptoms of early onset mutations. I have been feeling strange lately. How could you tell by only a glance? I'm a doctor, after all. Thank you, Patricia. Excuse me, Mr. Yellow. Hmm? May we please have a word? It's all right. Let her pass. Thank you. I would like to ask a question. Go on. What would you like to know? Your company owns every single pharma company in this country. That's correct. So why are prices still getting higher? A single vaccination costs upwards up to $500 now. To fund our research, of course. Research into what? The drugs already work. Do you think having a monopoly on the entire pharmaceutical industry is morally right? Listen, miss. Sixty years ago, when the mutations began, the drug industry tried to cure it. There were many competing cures. Some of them worked for a little while. But competition led to rushed trials, 
and rushed trials led to medicine that was not ready. And now that we are all united under one corporation, there's no need for capitalism to interrupt our research. United under your ownership, you mean? That's correct. Just ignore it. Why? Why do you think? It's obviously not human. Every few days I'm at this platform, I hear that same cry for help. And nobody ever helps? You should mind your own business if you want to survive in this city, girl. Help me! Please! Wh what? I'm a nurse. Obviously, I'm going to help if someone asks for help. <laughs> Suit yourself, idiot girl. Please help! <gasps> you came! Thank you so much! I've been trying my luck for weeks to get help! Finally, someone came! Please follow me! It's over here! Just so you know... If this is a trick, I'll end you. Don't worry! <laughs> um, it's no trick! My friend is over here! He needs help! Okay. How much farther? We're nearly there! I never thought a human would want to help one of us! How refreshing! Here we are! How can an environmental mutation grow this big? This is my father! He's sick! Father? Help me, Hibaga! Please! I am sick! Everything hurts badly! What are your symptoms? Hunger. Hunger. Human. A trap, huh? Yeah. You made a mistake. Uh, what you saying? Oh. Ah! Oh, what's happening? Your body consists of bacteria and pathogens. Any normal human with a bottle of hand sanitizer could kill you easily. Please! Mercy! Mercy! Oh, yeah. If you want help, then you have to promise not to attack humans ever again. I promise! Please Lucky you had a nearby sewer leak to wash the wound with. Just don't forget your promise. Wait! No human has ever shown kindness to us before! We want to thank you! Thank me? You just tried to attack me a few moments ago. If you ever need help, we will help you. Just say this father owes you. Come back any time! 